Hey, it's Nicholas Express today. Today we've got another one, yeah, another LXD distro. This one I quite like actually, Salix. Now Salix is based on Slackware, as you all know, and in its LXD form, it's really, really fast. Now a lot of you won't even try Salix or Slackware or some of the other stuff, but I would advise you to give it a go because it's so bleeding super fasty duper. It's a text-based installer, but it's really simple and it's basically automatic. You just click on automatic, automatic did I say? Yes, automatic, and it will do it all for you. You haven't really got to do anything except put your name in, password and stuff like that. So it's really basic, so it's not a very long video, so a quick look around. Desktop is my documents, Salix Online and Salix IRC support, which opens XChat, I think. But the what, we'll go to Salix Online. I'm waiting for him to open, there we go. It should, in theory, open a few pages for us. Oh, dubstep gums, lovely. Must have been when I was checking it out the other day. Anyway, Salix OS tells you all about it. And as you can see, it comes with XFC or LXD, Fluxbox, and KDE. Now, I've got the installation disk image, but there is a live disk image as well if you want to run live. So you want a live one. But it's, it's really easy to install, even if you're doing it in the box, okay? Now, what Salix does, you get one application per task, as it says here. So, if you only need one writer, you only get one writer. If you only need one math program, you only get one. If you only need one browser, you only get one. Basically, that's what it says. Now, I've done the full install here, that's everything, but you can just do a basic or a core. It all depends what you really want, okay? So, that's the browser. Flash is install lead, yes. DuckDuckGo is a do-free searchy thing, so you can do DuckDuckGo in and go DuckDuckQuack quack, quack, quack. Yeah, it's alright then. It's Midori, but this version of Midori seems quite stable. I know sometimes it goes up the wall, but this one seems alright. <clears throat> Excuse me, cough and cold come in. Must be end of summer. In the menu, you just get basics. Remember, one application per task. So you get your archive man manager here, privacy system, blah, blah, calculator, terminal, you've paired for your text, and notes for XPad, or XPad for notes. Under graphics, you just get simple scan, a viewer, and a paint program. Yes, you can get GIMP and all that. I'll show you in a second. Internet clauses for your mail. It's a reasonable program. Don't diss it. And if you've got an older machine you want it to run, just run this, mate. Just run it. Don't worry about Thunderbird. It's too intensive. It is. It really is. You do get Pigeon, no? Wicked, wicked. Is there two? And transmission and GFTP for your GFTP and stuff. Under office, as I said, you just get Abbey Word and G Numeric. Programming, Genie and Mel. Ooh, two. Sand and video. Right, here we go. You get a Sander, Brazero, Exhale. Install your multimedia codex, right? It doesn't actually come with them in pre installed. So basically, what you do is click on here. So I'm doing it for you. You put your password in. And do you want to do it, basically? Because in some countries, you're not allowed to. You know the countries where you live. But you're going to click yes anyway, aren't you? Because you're going to want to watch DVDs and MP3 files, etc., etc., etc. So I'm just going to click yes on there and let it do its thing, baby. Oh yeah, you can do installing for installing stuff. So I'm going to change Windows <coughs> to Desktop 2 while it's doing that. Oh no, it's going to change it for me. But, okay, anyway, but we'll carry on doing stuff while it's doing that. Anyway, where was I? Yes, Asanda Brazil Exhale Voltaire for your volume control and a wah, wah media player. But under System Tools, <coughs> You get stuff your else a sound card just to get your sound right because sometimes it doesn't work straight out of the box. But if you run this and set it up, everything should be okie dokie dokie. Get dot new and gila for connecting to remote file systems. <laughs> Lilo is your standard booter here. Yeah, most of you may not know of Lilo, but yeah, it's oh, it's an older one and grabs a newer one. Must newer than Grab Legacy anyway. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> NDS Repper, if you can't get your wireless to work, you should all know how to use that. I might do a video on that in the next day or two. As you can see, I'm pumping out videos, since it does at the moment, because the weather's so crap here, we can't go out. Yes. You can log in with a new login, <clears throat> log in another window. Oh, blimey, it's finished already. Would I like to remove the codex installer from the system? Well, of course, I don't want the thing in the menu, do I? So, yes. Right, my codex are now installed. Wasn't that quick? It really was, wasn't it? Anyway, get back to what I was doing now. <clears throat> See, uh, quick, sort me back quick. Look, shoo, go back. Your G Slap package manager is here. Host names, bloody, 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 bloody. File monitor folder for PC men, FM, which is your file manager. <clears throat> System clock, task manager. I'll open it up for you to see how what we're using. Look at that. Look. I'm using no CPU and only 123 of RAM. So, older systems, LXD, it will make it a lot, 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 lot faster. Okay, that's all we're going to say. 
I'm going to quickly go into the package manager. So just to quickly show you how it works. I've done this lots of times before, but some of you have not seen any of my videos before, so I'm going to keep repeating it sometimes. People keep asking me to do uh, how to install Puppy again. I've done that one so many times over the past three years. Or was it four years? I'm running that thing now. Anyway, password in. <clears throat> clicky, clicky, clicky. In theory, uh, password management. What do you mean? Chief Slapped will come up. God, my brain's not working today. Too much beer last night. Anyway, I've already updated everything, <clears throat> so that's all here. So basically, you can just choose something. Now, being Slackword, uh, Slackword, Slackware, my tongue is well gone today. Being Slackware, it's not as full of repos as some of the others, like Fedora or Ubuntu or Debian. But most of the stuff is here, or you could compile from source. Yeah, if you're really brilliantly super duper like some of us, or you can just get away with it. You know what I mean? Yes, you do. So I'm just going to scroll down, just f find one for you to say. Like, there's loads and loads of stuff here that I could go on forever. And oh, Claws Mail Extra Plugin. What is that? <clears throat> so if you look, description. This extra plugin contains a notifier, a remover, a tax warner, fetch info, Mayflower viewer, a mailbox, new mail notification, PDF viewer, comes with some stuff. So you know what? We're going to install that to help our claws mail away. All you do is click ex execute, execution. It doesn't need much, just over a gig. So we'll click OK. <laughs> install the auto. Is it need done? Done. See how quick that was? Bloody quick, isn't it? Right, older machine. You don't want to use the usual Ubuntu based or Debian based or Fedora based or you don't want to use PUP. Give this one a go. Give it a Salix. Yeah. Salix is 4.7.5 out of 5. Sneaky Linux out. That's it.